Puducherry proposed to this felicitation function to the man of the soil, Honorable Mr. Justice K. V. Vishwanathan, Judge, Supreme Court of India. <laughs> to begin this occasion, let us seek the blessings of the God, kindly rise for the Tamil Taiwan. <laughs> Facebook privacy cases 
the Honorable Judge was also appointed as amicus curiae in several important cases by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. The Honorable Judge, while appearing in the cases either for the parties or as amicus curiae, partakes himself with full dedication by applying legal principles consisting of various facets to conclude with the solution. The arguments and the submission of the Honorable Judge are notable and admirable. In the year of 2009, the Honorable Judge was designated as Senior Advocate by the Supreme Court of India and also served as Additional Solicitor General of India in the year of 2013. The Honorable Judge possesses extraordinary memory power, extensive knowledge in the entire profession of law with the expertise in all sides of practice, especially constitutional matters. The attributes of the Honorable Judge towards the legal profession has elevated him from the bar to the apex court, now holds the judgeships in the highest judiciary. The Honorable Supreme Court of India was established in the year of 1950, and for, for more than seven decades, only ten advocates were elevated directly from the bar to the Honorable Supreme Court of India, starting from the Honorable Justice S.L. Sikri, Justice S.C. Roy, Justice Guldeep Singh, Justice Santos Egde, Justice Rohitan Bariman, Justice U. U. Lalit, Justice Nageswar Rao, Justice Indu Malhotra, Justice Narasimha, and our Chief Guest Honorable Mr. Justice K. Viswanathan comes under that array. <laughs> As 10th Judge from the Bar, which is a rare distinction. As the juncture, we thank the College of the Honorable Supreme Court of India and the central government for appointing the Honorable Jai by considering his merit, prudence, dedication and compassion. It is proud to say that the Honorable Judge will be a third Chief Justice of India enrolled in the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu following the Honorable Mr. Justice Patanjali Sastri <laughs> and the Honorable Mr. Justice K. Sadasimo. The same enriched the entire legal fraternity and on behalf of all, the Bar Council is felicitating the Honorable Judge to share our happiness. A quote by Henry David Thoreau, an American philosopher, and I quote, success usually comes to those who are too busy looking for it, I unquote. The above quote is quietly applicable to the Honorable Judge since he was always busy in practice law, which made him to the get this position. It is pertinent to mention that that the father of the Honorable Judge, Mr. K. V. K. Venkatraman, is a renowned senior advocate and is served as a special public prosecutor come deputy legal advisor, vigilant and anti-corruption. The Honorable Judge following his footpath has achieved this highest level. I wholeheartedly welcome Lord. <laughs> the Judge of the Supreme Court of India at this August felicitation function. I also feel and pride to welcome the Honorable Chief Justice of the Madras High Court, who has cordially accepted the due felicitation to the Honorable Judge. I welcome Honorable Mr. Justice Vaidyanathan, who always shows empathy towards the litigant public at large. I welcome Honorable Mr. Justice Sant Mahadevan, who is more concerned about the welfare of the advocates and board friendly. I also welcome Sir R. Sandhamusundaram, Advocate General. I wholeheartedly welcome Mr. S. Prabhakaran, the Vice Chairman Bar Council of India, and who has taken effective steps to felicitate the Honorable Judge today. I also welcome Mr. R. Vidalai, Senior Advocate, Senior Most Member of the Bar Council of this felicitation function. I also welcome Mr. P. Wilson, Senior Advocate and the present member Raja Shabha, and P. S. Raman, the Senior Advocate to felicitate the Honorable Judge. I also welcome other Honorable Judges, uh, Advocate, President, Secretaries, I also welcome the Vice Chairman and the members of the Bar Council. At this juncture, it is my duty to inform that the Bar Council more than 1,25,000 advocates have enrolled and nearly 85,000 advocates are actively practicing in various courts. For the welfare of the legal fraternity, the Bar Council introduced several welfare measures and the conducting coaching classes for the judicial aspirants. It is not worthy. The, the Honorable Judge is an asset for the IST judiciary. We are sure the Honorable Judge will easily dispose the matters either in it or sensational or nationwide benefiting the entire legal fraternity as well as the society throughout India above all our expectation. 
Once again, on behalf of the Bar Council, I welcome the Honorable Judge Supreme Court of India and the other dignitaries in this Athlete's Education. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Judge. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman, for your very warm welcome. Now, I request our senior advocate and member of Parliament, Raj Sabha, Mr. P. Wilson, to deliver his felicitation. Honorable Mr. Justice K. V. Viswanathan, Judge Supreme Court of India, Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjay Vijay Kumar Kakapurwala, Chief Justice of Madras High Court, Honorable Justice S. Vaidya Naran, Honorable Justice R. Mahadevan, Honorable Judges of uh, Madras High Court who are present here, through P.S. Amal Raj, Chairman, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, Mr. Prabhakaran, Senior Advocate and Vice Chairman, Bar Council of India, through Shanmuga Sundaram, Advocate General, members, other members of the Bar Council, respected uh, office bearers, other office bearers who are present here, additional advocate general, dignitaries, other dignitaries who are present here, senior advocates, advocates, members of the press, media, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is indeed a privilege to felicitate the son of the soil, Honorable Mr. Justice K. V. Viswanathan. His lordship was born in Polachi, I have to say this again, and completed his legal education in Coimbatore. His lordship then enrolled in Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, which was said by Mr. Amal Raj. Therefore, let there be no doubt that he is a judge from this bar and Delhi cannot claim exclusivity over him. <laughs> Amal Raj has exhibited a lot of evidence. I have known Justice Viswanathan from the days of the Tansi case in 2001 before the Madras High Court. He was then assisting through K.K. Venugopal, senior advocate, and I was assisting through K.B. Vengadabadi, former advocate general of Tamil Nadu, who was appointed as a special public prosecutor by the Madras High Court for this uh, particular case. Even though we were on opposite sides, I was awestruck by his intellect, sincerity and dedication, which was apparent with how he was thoroughly prepared and ably assisted through K.K. Venugopal in a complex and sensitive case. I am really surprised today he was remembering all the exhibits that were marked and uh, recalling how the proceedings went on for uh, so many days. Over the years, I have had the privilege and pleasure of appearing alongside and sometime against Justice K. V. Viswanathan in few cases. He was one of those rare members of the bar against whom not a single lawyer or a judge would have anything negative to say. He is known as a person of high intellect, impeccable integrity and a thorough gentleman at the bar. He has an immense respect for the rule of law and the institution which makes him a perfect fit as a judge of the Supreme Court. Justice K. B. Viswanathan was designated as a senior counsel in 2009 and appointed as additional solicitor general of India by the Union government in 2013. In fact, uh, that would remember I was also an additional solicitor general for southern states at that point of time. So I can say from the first hand experience that as a law officer, Justice K. V. Viswanathan was exemplary. Though he defended the union tooth and nail, he was fair to the opponents and always stuck to the merits of the case and never got personal. In fact, he was forceful but pleasant. That is an important quality for all law officers to imbibe from Justice Viswanathan. His lordship is an outstanding jurist and his eminence in the legal profession is best exemplified by the number of prominent cases in which he has been appointed as amicus curiae by the Supreme Court. His lordship has been contributing to the march of the constitutional law, notably in the spheres of individual liberty and self-determination. Notably, he represented the Internet Freedom Foundation, an organization dedicated for advocating for digital freedom in the legal challenge against WhatsApp privacy. Policy in India 
Moreover, Justice K. B. Vishwanathan actively advocated for the rights of transgender persons and their right to marriage equality in the case of Supriya Chakraborty and Abe versus Union of India. In another significant case, Arushi Jain versus Union of India, he advocated for the fair treatment of doctors and medical professionals who face high risk exposure while treating COVID-19 patients. These instances underscore Honorable Mr. Justice K. V. Viswanathan's commitment to championing important social causes. I must also highlight Honorable Mr. Justice K. V. Viswanathan's fierce loyalty to the institution. As an amicus curate in Indri filling up of vacancies, he has rendered unparalleled service to the institution via the judicial appointment process. Justice K. V. Viswanathan served as an amicus curate in the case of Dr. J. R. Thakur was Union of India where he argued that the repeated extension of tenure for the directors of the Central Bureau of Investigations and Enforcement Directorate undermined the autonomy and independence of these investigative bodies. Thus, he is a person who cherishes the principles of institutional integrity and accountability. At this juncture, I must place on record my sincere appreciation of Justice K. V. Vishwanathan for standing up by the institution when it came under the attack from certain political forces. We all know at that time his name was under the zone of consideration. Most people in that situation would have been apprehensive of speaking against certain dispensation considering their private ambitions. But Justice K. B. Viswanathan boldly came out and defended not only the judiciary but also the citizens' fundamental rights of free speech in a written article. This shows his immense courage of conviction and uh, we can be certain that as a judge of Supreme Court, he will discharge his duties fearlessly and impartially. I thank the Honorable Chief Justice of India, Honorable Justice D. Y. Charachut for recommending Honorable Justice K. V. Sunadan. Given the traditional adherence to the seniority rule, our hope and prayer is that Justice D. Y. Charachut has chosen not just a judge of Supreme Court, but a future Chief Justice of India. We take a great pride in his appointment as Tamilians and as a members of the Madras Bar. I also congratulate his Lordship's family on this joyous occasion. I pray for his Lordship's good health and serenity during his tenure as a judge of the Supreme Court of India and thereafter. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your awesome words. Now I request Mr. P. S. Raman, former advocate general, senior advocate to deliver his felicitation. Dignities of the days in front of me, my dear brothers and sisters of the bar. For those of you who are uh, here day before yesterday, you will all again remember I came to bat one down. Seems to be following me today as well. That day, my brother, father, Xavier Arunraj described the Chief Justice short of his horoscope, everything was done. Today, my Thambi Wilson has done something almost identical to my dear friend Justice K.V. Vishwanathan, the Kasi Celebre for this evening. Really don't have much to add on that. So I thought I'll, it's actually a, one of those corridor briefing days for me. I hadn't even thought of what I was going to say till I came to this hall. So I thought keeping it short would be very, very pleasing to everybody here. So that's what I will do. I just wanted to talk about two things. One is contextually in the point of Justice Vishwanathan getting elevated to the Supreme Court, I thought I would make a passing reference to the contributions of the Madras Bar to the corridors of New Delhi. 
We have been forerunners for years. Bombay has always taken credit for doing the maximum. Rightly, to statistics speak for itself. Like how the number of times they won the Ranji Trophy, you can't, you can't wish it down. But Tamil Nadu in its own way, starting with the 50s and Shunada Shastri and Kesavayangar and others were there. Going into the 70s where, 70, 75, my late father V.P. Raman, followed by K.K. Venugopal, Adon law officers post there. Then we had a spate of excellent things through Sri K. Parasaran and Sri Ram Swami becoming the Attorney Generals of India. And finally even the present Attorney General Vankit Ramani is from our grass bar. We had in between other additional Solicitor Generals like present Vankit Raman and persons who have gone there and made a mark for themselves in Delhi like to P. Chidambaram, Mr. Arima Sundaram and so on. Could, they may not have assumed law officers but are still important people in the Delhi Supreme Court. One person who stands out is my dear friend Justice K. V. Vishnath. And uh, why does he stand out? He stands out because he, of course, he is the son of our soil. Kwamato enrolled here, went there, made a mark. But what is very critical is, like our Chief Justice, Justice KVV is also a sportsman, sports enthusiast, follows, at least to my knowledge, cricket and tennis to a large extent, cricket particularly so, because I know whenever critical matches are happening, whether we both are in court or not, we'll be exchanging WhatsApp on what's happening on the ground. Which of course I have already said day before today what it means to be a sportsman when you become a judge. I don't have to repeat it here. What is most important about Justice KVV for the youngsters present here I am saying Mondays and Fridays are the gambling days in Supreme Court. SLP admission days. Anybody, everybody will be there. Cases will be called, 60, 80 cases per bench are going to be decided. And there's a rat racing, there's everybody, there's enough and more pot of coffee and tea or whatever you want for everybody there. What is important in Supreme Court are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. They are the days when final hearings take place. They are the days when really important reported judgments come out. And truly, in the last 30 years, 20 years definitely since this millennium, Justice KBV was the king of final year. <laughs> Why I am saying this to all of you is that it's easy to do admissions and miscellaneous matters. Final hearing requires preparation. Final hearing really requires a lot of preparation. You can't just go to the highest court of the land reading the paper and just going there and doing it because every word you say is being understood and interpreted by the courts and you don't want to be the cause for laying down the wrong law. And in that, my friend has been a master and I think it is in recognition of that quality of his that he got the correct nod to adorn the Supreme Court by the Chief Justice. In fact, his few predecessors who also got the nod like that where are similar people? You take you Lalit, you take uh, uh, just in fact, Justice uh, Kuldeep Singh. All of them were people who were very meticulous in their preparations for final hearings, and that is where you make the mark of the court. I don't want to say anything more other than to wish Justice K. V. Vishnadan a very, very successful tenure as a judge of the Supreme Court and set it as paribus become the third Tamilian to adorn the first court there. And with this integrity and intelligence, the two eyes, in fact, the only message I sent him was that when he got elevated. Intelligence and integrity, everything else will follow. Thank you all. God bless you and all the best. Thank you, Senior. It was really interesting to hear about 
dresses KVB. Uh, it was really motivating for the youngsters who are present here. I hope that they will follow the footsteps of Justice KVB. And now I request Mr. R. Vedadale, former advocate, general senior advocate, member of Parkman Slavthamran Kuduchari to felicitate. My Lord, Mr. Justice, K.V. Mishpanathan, Judge of the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice of Madras High Court, Honorable Mr. Justice Ganga Purwala, Mr. Justice Vaidyanathan, Honorable Mr. Justice Mahadevan, Mr. Justice Dandapani, Mr. Justice Adi Kesavalim, and other judges of the High Court whose names I am not still familiar with, and the dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, the Chairman P.S. Amal Raj, the Vice Chairman of the Bar Council of India, Mr. Prabhakaran, Senior Advocate, Mr. P. Wilson, Member of Parliament, and Mr. P.S. Raman, former Advocate General, and our beloved Advocate General, Mr. R. Shantur Sundar, members of the legal fraternity and others. Today, we are really elated to see that one of our own person had been directly elevated to the Supreme Court for the first time, for the first time from Tamil Nadu or from the Vidas Bar, a person had been elevated to the Supreme Court. Even though there are precedents of nine such persons having gone that route, he is the first one. Therefore, it is a distinction of sort. And the path he had taken, he is a very good friend of mine. I always admired his advocacy, humility, and his smiling face, the interactiveness, the intellectual acumen, and what not. These are not accolades set for the occasion. No, it is said about the person. These are all real things about him. I have seen him for many years. As Mr. Raman said, we have seen him for many years. And it is his hard work that has taken to the Apex School as a judge of the Supreme Court and ultimately to adopt the uh, highest post of Chief Justice of India in about August 1930 when everything goes all right. I am reminded of two kurals. For this reason, this person is the right person to do this job. When you select a person, you should always apply this criteria, is what Thiruvalluvar says. And the quality of the Supreme Court had done that wonderfully well in this case. And one more Thirukkura, which I am always fond of, is that Solar Vallan, Sol Vilan, Anjal, a person who is hard working, who never gets tired, and who is courageous, and who has got the gift of the gap, can never be conquered by any person. He is invincible in advocacy and as a judge. It is always a good thing that the right thing is done to a right person at the right time in order to make the judiciary right and bright. And I am confident that Justice K.B. Vishwanathan, whose qualities of head and heart we are all familiar with, would make a wonderful judge in Supreme Court in the years to come. Like our own Chief Justice, who has earned a, in a very short period, who has earned the name of a knowledgeable, bar-friendly and relief-oriented judge, I hope and trust Justice Viswanathan, K.B. Viswanathan, Honorable Justice Viswanathan would also be a bar friendly and a relief oriented judge. I am very confident about that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we call upon Mr. A.R. L. Sundar, Senior Advocate, Additional Solicitor General of India to deliver his felicitation of the Honorable. Judge of Supreme Court of India. My Lord, the Honorable Justice Vishwanath, Judge of Supreme Court, my Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice, the Honorable Judges of the Madras High Court, on the dais and off the dais, 
my senior friends, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to all. At the outset, I apologize for having come late to this meeting. I was on my legs in a division bench and as soon as the case was over, I rushed here. So far as uh, Justice K.V. Vishwanathan is concerned, I could say that I had occasion to interact with him and brief him in a few cases and had the pleasure of briefing him the manner in which he would grasp the point and would not be in a hurry to take instructions from the junior. When a junior goes all the way to Delhi to engage a counsel, he passes on the entire burden to the senior. If the senior says that, yes, yes, I go through the papers, you come to court, he may not be satisfied. But when the senior gives you an audience and 15 to 20 minutes runs through the papers and then makes the notes in your presence, then you will be satisfied that your case is in safe hands. This is the uh, pleasure which I had of instructing when he was a senior. And uh, it was really great that he did not go to any other high court for getting designated and waited for the Supreme Court to designate him as a senior advocate in the year 2009. And I remember by the time he was designated, even as an advocate on record, he had more than 50 to 60 judgments of final hearing matters of the Supreme Court which were reported in which he had argued as a counsel and not along with somebody else as a counsel. And uh, rightly so, he was designated, he was appointed as the ASG in 2013 and now directly elevated to the Supreme Court. I would say any law graduate who would like to have somebody as a role model, the best person in these circumstances would be Jesse Vishwanath. From Coimbatore to Delhi as an advocate on record, under two great seniors, C.S. Vaidyanathan and K.V. Uh, Venugopal uh, sir. And then as a designated senior there, as an ASG there, and now as a judge to the Supreme Court, who would occupy the office of Chief Justice of India for at least eight to ten months. Nothing more can be, can be an ambition for anyone in this profession. Therefore, he has come from the grassroots and would go to the pinnacle. This is what one should aim at and I would request all to work hard like him so that we can also try to do something like him. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you, sir. Now I call upon Mr. S. Prabhakaran, Senior Advocate, Vice Chairman of Bar Council of India to felicitate our Honorable Judge Supreme of India. Mr. Justice K. Vishwanathan, Judge Supreme Court of India, the Honorable Chief Justice S. V. Gangapurvala, the Honorable Mr. Justice S. Vaidyanathan, Honorable Mr. Justice R. Mahadevan, Honorable Mr. Justice Adi Kesaru, Justice Dandavani, Justice Chandrasegaran, Justice Nagarjuna, Justice Patu Devanan, respected Advocate Chandra, Mr. Yair Sundaresan, Mr. Or Abadadai, Mr. P. S. Roman, my friend Mr. Wilson, Mr. Amal Raj, Mr. Kathi Gayan, and senior, my colleagues from the bar, the bar council of Tamil Nadu Puducherry, the respected women lawyers, ladies and gentlemen. Here is a quote from celebrated athlete. Gail Divers, keep your dreams alive, understand to achieve anything requires faith and belief in yourself, vision, hard work, determinations and dedications, remember all things are possible for those who believe. This quote suits the best to the Honorable Justice K. Mr. Nathan, his hope and his vision when he began his career. His hope and visions of uh, 
many new budding lawyers in the field in labor and terms of our lordships is a hero a role model an ideal for many young lawyers who toil their days in corridors of these vast court buildings the day 1905 is the day to be remembered a day for all of us to cherish it was a day when the member of the bar rose to adorn the benches of the supreme court of india it was on a day which showed the continuous hard work and perseverance would pay off some day with our lordship's elevation to the bench the representations of the bar the honorable supreme court would rise tremendously but what makes our lordship's elevation even more special is that is the first persons from tamil nadu to directly elevate from the bar to the honorable bench supreme court of india on 1905 is a day to be remembered today is a special day for the bar council which will be etched in a traces the lawyer who sampled beginnings started his career by enrolling in the year 1988 destiny had it to return my lord so as to enable to us to see the rise of an honest man he has followed through the pace of his life and returns back to the council for felicitation that accolades his success in the chosen field what could be more fulfilling than this and for me these days are even more special as our lordships and i had on several occasions appeared together in the representative cases before the supreme court of india when our lordships was in the bar he was appointed as an amicus curiae for two the important cases of pertaining to the bca when there was a dispute relating to conducting the all india bar examination throughout the country the applications has been filed challenging that the sudhir case has said the pre enrollment you can't do anything only after the 21 years of age completion of the degree bl degree the bar council has to enroll and you cannot conduct any all india bar examinations so it's an establishing block the sudhir case has been already delivered so therefore number of occasions throughout the country the cases of files the thousands of cases like a body by case which has been filed with the supreme court of india then manan kumar misra and myself went and mentioned before the honorable justice uh, bobbe justice bobbe <coughs> then we said this is the problem is that please kindly at a constitutive bench then a constitutional bench which has been constituted that day i still remember we were tensed the members of the bar council of india we do not know the five judges in supreme court there are uh, the attorney general for india is appearing for the government and uh, our uh, k misra then has been as a lawyer stands there that misra has been a proper uh, Here we saw that this. I think has been appointed as amicus curiae. What will happen? I said, don't worry. The man has come from Tamil Nadu. Nothing will happen. Let them start the argument. Then thereafter, the attorney general started. Then the here we saw that has been started as a lawyer. <coughs> Sir, you believe it or not? What we expected, nearly the bench went on more than five days. The argument went on five days. All these five days, each and every occasion, what the earlier which which has been committed a mistake, everything has been narrated one by one, one by one, one by one. Finally, in our lawyers was the part the Tickle Bonnie Boy case examined for the law college. Now I remember the Tickle Roberts case respectively. The two cases are the main case. The both the cases. vehemently you supported autonomy of the bar council of india and expressed the importance of such an independent body that is the more important 
the submission of the Honorable Justice K. Vishwanathan when he was, was a lawyer in recognizing the role of the responsibility of BCI and support its autonomy goes far beyond than words can expose. As an amicus curie, your watch is supported the place of laws before the court as what the law expressed unbiased and unprejudiced. The main role of the amicus curie in a court to assist and give suggestions for unsolvable questions. However, when our lordship <laughs> takes a file as an amicus curie, one can be rest assured that the lordship will give you a solution. When we were addressing the constitution bench in the body wide, <coughs> burden of reduced more than of our lordship was appointed as amicus curies. Otherwise, this burden shift on us. We prepared a bunch of type set of papers. We had a problem because there are multiples of lawyers are standing on the queue to argue the matter. But our Lordship's initial days of career started as a junior so and so. My friend Mr. The Amal Raj has explained everything as it is practice demands a lot but pays back in the abundance. Lordship's initial days demanded for a lot of him as it would be everyone who chooses path of litigation, but our lordship was paid back in the abundance. During his stint as an advocate, our lordship appeared in various range of cases on diverse, diverse subjects including the constitutional law, criminal law, commercial law, law of insolvency and law federations in the Supreme Court of India. In many other cases, we together, we offered, we succeeded many, we lost and sent back to the same high court like that the cases during those days went on. I still remember one thing I wanted to bring your lordship's notice. When you are coming to the court without any text and appearing before the bench, even the judges put one by one question also, you are very silently answered one by one. And this is the court appeared in several high profile cases like the Sahara real estate dispute and court block allegation scam and many more which are disputed interrelated the constitutional interpretation. I still I can say the Justice K. Viswanathan, K. Viswanathan is the best to judge for the interpretation of law. In the Salem Bar Association case, our Lord has appeared as an amicus to assist the court and the judgment where they were for Awarding the frivolous litigations. Our lordship during his interim time of practice appeared in number of cases as amicus, as pro bono service. If I fail to mention it, it is not correct because you have handled a number of pro bono service and contributed the upholding the constitutional values and the fundamental rights and social justice. Now our lordship and the administrative justice from the top court of this nation continuing his service for the people of our country throughout his phase of career Lord Jesus has left an indelible mark in this legal profession with distinct legal research and knowledge with his calm and composed style of arguments and clear understanding of complex legal issues the assistance of our Lord Jesus has an advice advocate in setting the judicial precedents as a plentiful in the same cannot be covered and even if the entire fel the felicitatory sessions is given. When he said important is that with the long innings of eight years for my Lord the Honorable Justice K. Viswanathan in Supreme Court and the line of becoming the Chief Justice of India, our Lord Jesus era is the Indian judiciary has just begun to bloom. As the day go by, the nations will benefit immensely by the judicial thought visions, mastery and my Lord made us touch. I hope not only, not only welcoming the state of Tamil Nadu. You have been there in Delhi more than two decades, more than two decades. And you have been achieved many things in the bar, particularly in the Supreme Court of India and Supreme Court Bar Association. 
you have done a wonderful job. Lord, the members of the bar here utilized your service more and more. And Mr. Wilson has said, in many occasions, in joint with her, the cases has been conducted. Even two days back, we have felicitated Honorable the Chief Justice has become a more special today for our Lord. The Honorable Chief Justice has joined in the felicitating, welcoming you and the Honorable Justice K. Viswanathan. My Lord, a few weeks again, the, when the Chief Justice have ta taken a oath, the Lord is the role model the High Court because the many issues as far as the digital institutions is concerned and then the numbering the cases which has issued the new dimensions. Among us, there are two other judges, the Honorable Justice uh, Viswanathan, Justice Mohadevan, they don't, don't, uh, uh, both Malad don't require any introduction. They are the sons of the soil, standing pillars of the ensuring the justice to all. And then thank you to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That was an excellent and awesome speech. Now I call upon our senior advocate, Mr. R. Shanul Sundaram, Advocate General of Tamil Nadu. Good afternoon, everyone. Honorable Mr. Justice K. V. Vishwanathan, Judge, Supreme Court of India, Honorable Chief Justice. Honorable Judges of the Madras High Court, Senior Circuits, Members of the Bar Council, Office Panel and the Bar Council on the days, and my dear friends. It is a really a great distinction that a lawyer is directly invited to the Supreme Court. And we are all very happy that one of us was celebrated directly to the Supreme Court. And about Justice Kevin Krishnanathan, I can share a few things. We have been opposing each other in many cases. I was public prosecutor of the Madasai Court in 1996. In December 96, Justice Kevin Krishnanathan was a very young lawyer, not even 10 years old in the bar, probably. He appeared for former Chief Minister Sandy Jayananda. She was arrested. The bail application is so brilliant, argued beautifully. Really a scintillating argument. And of course, the Jayananda was released on bail uh, after that. That was the first interaction we had. And, uh, he was so in Supreme Court most of the time. And thereafter, whenever I, whenever I went to Supreme Court. His father was my great friend. His father was a prosecutor. So we had an occasion to share our notes on prosecution. So every time I go there, we used to sit in a corner and discuss about so many cases. And he was uh, working in the Director of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption anti Unit. He had tremendous knowledge of And another occasion in 97, I was appointed also as a counsel for the uh, state of Tamil Nadu before Tamil. Justice M.C. Jain Commission in Delhi, which went into the conspiracy aspect of the assassination of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. As a government counsel, I had to take the evidence of the then Chief Minister Dr. Kalangi So I produced it on four, okay, four days the, the portion were uh, recorded. In November, two days in November and February, two days. And this is Kevi Vishwanathan as a junior of Mr. C.S. Vaidyanathan appeared for Sandy Jayananda case. And he was sitting there. And he was about a cross examination of Dr. Kalangya. When the evidence was being recorded, there were certain difficulties in interpreting the, the motion because there was not many people well versed in Tamil who can translate into English because the motion he made was in Tamil and that, uh, that had to be translated and on this spot trans translation is very difficult for anyone and that too the manner in which Dr. Karangar Karnandi spoke 
it's very difficult to interpret. Uh, several, two, three seniors there, they attempted that way. Ultimately, this is Vishwanathan translated, exactly, beautifully translated. And uh, that was Sikada. You know, the end of the day, every time, that Karangari used to love him, he used to go again, bring him because he was doing it so very well, all the four days. And that was the uh, occasion. So, one must have not only depth in knowledge, he must be thorough in languages. And this is his, his thoroughness in both English and Tamil. That was evident, that was witnessed that. And you know, many of you don't know, he is a great poet. During COVID time, he used to send the video recording of his poems he recorded. And I still have these poems recorded. Such a wonderful person. He really worked hard. I have a very happy feeling when uh, one of our close associates has been elevated and adored in the Supreme Court. I wish all the best to him. Good health. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we call upon Honorable Chief Justice Sanjay Vijay Kumar Ganga Purvavala to felicitate our Chief Guest, Honorable Mr. Justice K.V. Viswanathan Jain, Supreme Court of India. Sir, please. He has faith in himself. He has faith in the 
justice dispensation system that is is get greatest security i will be too small to say something about his lordship however everybody knows about his legal pursuits his legal achievements but there is another facet to him also that is he also penned down his poem very very against the time in covid times i could come across one of the some of the excerpts of his poem that he has penned down that is all rest up and nowhere to go some excerpts of that poem are that computer i had kept to flaunt is it back again to haunt first they said try the mail just a click and it won't fail i mustered courage and went along the mail reached where it belonged my heart was filled with abundant pride said i none can take me for a ride the excitement and happiness in achieving something is evident from these lines on behalf of as a patter families of the tamil nadu state judiciary on behalf of the legal fraternity of the state of tamil nadu i congratulate honorable justice k vishwanath for his elevation as the judge of the supreme court and wish him all the very best in his stint as the judge of the supreme court and further i wish for the elevation thank you everyone thank you once again Thank you, Lord Shri, for your awesome speech. Now I request our Chairman, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu, Mr. Cherry, and our Vice Chairman, Senior S. Prabhakar, to honor our Chief Guest, Justice K. V. Vishwanath. Mr. Venmurugan to present a book to Mr. 
B. Wilson, Senior Deputy King.
Chairman of today's meeting, Sri Amal Raj, Chairman, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. The first lawyer and the Advocate General for Madras, Sri Shanmuga Sundaram, Sri Prabhakaran, Vice Chairman, Bar Council of India, Sri Aaron Sundaresan, Additional Solicitor General for India, Mr. Vidudalai, Former Advocate General, Senior Advocate Member Bar Council, Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. Mr. P. S. Raman, Former Advocate General, Senior Advocate Chennai. Mr. Wilson, Senior Advocate Member of Parliament. Mr. Karthikeyan, the Vice Chairman. Office bearers of the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. The Master of the Ceremony, Mr. Saravanan. Other dignitaries, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, Bolane Varakum Menudia Panimana Male Varakanga. A very warm good evening to all of you. At the outset, I want to sincerely thank the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry for having organized this grand felicitation function. When all of you spoke to me, Mr. Prabhakaran spoke, it was my desire that uh, it could be called a meet and greet instead of a felicitation. But Mr. Prabhakaran overruled me. He said, that is our call. But the generous words that uh, you spoken, my Lord Chief Justice, the other uh, dignitaries, I am deeply, deeply overwhelmed. I, I really wonder whether I deserve all of that because it was in this premises, this very precincts, I mean the building is different, that the journey began on 28th of October 1988. I had come from Coimbatore, taken the Blue Mountain Express come that uh, morning, all the forms had been filled up and submitted earlier. 28th October was the day given and I was carrying a letter from my Coimbatore senior, Mr. K. Ramachandran, a very distinguished criminal lawyer, to whom I owe a lot for uh, shaping the initial years. Uh, because every day through the five years of the law college and a little thereafter before I went to Delhi, he permitted me to attend his chamber and uh, so there was no contribution. Now brief was read, you only sit around and uh, Maybe some research was done. He had given a letter to the doyen of the Madras criminal court, the NT Vanamavale. And the request was, the bearer of the letter is so and so, is known to me. Please move his enrollment. Because the practice was that the senior lawyer moves the enrollment. It's followed by an oath ceremony. The Enrollment itself was fixed at around 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I reached Mr. Vanamamale's chamber as per his request at 2.30 in the afternoon. He was sitting with a huge type set of papers which I now know must be a very heavy criminal appeal. He saw the letter and he said, uh, all right, but uh, my matter is reaching. Can I send Gopinath is what he asked me. Go pay and put up. 22 and a half tact is not your forte. So I said, the letter says you should come. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Manamara said, uh, if you say so, then it is funny, he said. And then he asked his junior to take a pass over. I don't know what happened to that matter. Elderly gentleman came all the way to the bar council. It was a crowded uh, uh, bar council. I remember uh, Mr. R. Krishnamurti, former advocate general and uh, senior advocate, was at the head table. So was uh, Bharat's father, uh, the late chief, VP Rami, uh, a doyen of the uh, Madras bar, etc. And the enrollment was moved. A few minutes to go before 4.15, I quickly uh, went up to watch proceedings. And uh, it 
is another blessing that uh, Mr. Parashran Senior was arguing before, uh, I think it was uh, Justice Sakti Dev's uh, bench. All that I could follow was that some matter from Pondicherry involving the question whether for the subject matter the Pondi law will apply or the everything else was going over my head. So as he came out, I quickly met him. I was, as usual, walking very fast. Uh, took his blessings and uh, uh, took the train back to Coimbatore. Uh, so to come back here and to be, you know, uh, nice things to be said is, is, is really a dream. And I am deeply overwhelmed to all of you who have taken your time. Honorable judges who have taken tomorrow must be heavy board. I will keep it very short. Uh, Chief Justice for uh, coming, the senior judges for coming and all the members for having taken time. There is no doubt that hard work went into the career, like it goes into the career of several people. But I have always believed uh, that for those who are prepared to work hard, there are some unexpected events that happen which guides you along the way. You call it uh, destiny if you believe in it, because it could be controversial for some of us to say that. Because we will be guardians of free speech, but our speech is the most restricted. Everything was ready in Coimbatore to practice. Even typing higher grade had been passed at the Directorate of Technical Education, which was 45 words per minute. The lower grade was passed with 30 and 45. Idea was in the trial courts, if you could type your own claims, you could save that uh, money. But a chance meeting my father had with his brother at a family function and a, and a chance discussion opened up avenues in Dubai. <coughs> I had not crossed beyond Bombay because some relatives were there and I had to go for a, a family meet. When this offer came to go and explore in Delhi, my attraction was that let us go and see. After all, father is paying for it. You have to only go if you don't like. You can always come back. But somehow events took a turn. Uh, I joined the office of Mr. Vaidyanath. I am keeping it very brief because uh, idea is not to. The point that I am making is uh, along with your effort, uh, there is a, there is a force operating. Call it whatever name, whichever place you belong. And that was one of the wonderful moments. We were 10 of us juniors. He had uh, filings every day. He had work outside Supreme Court. So some of us juniors, juniors would be asked to look around the High Court and the CGAC work. There was a lot of tribunal work going on. And Supreme Court because he would not be able to reach in all matters. So after two passovers, you could argue your own cases. And those cases, when you argue, it gives you confidence. All those individual clients is what where you get your top time. What happens with corporate clients early on is they always engage a senior. So the individual clients which came to our lot gave a lot of chances to argue. So my appeal to youngsters is whenever you get a chance, even if you have to pray that the senior should not land up after the Passover, please pray. <laughs> it gives you a chance to argue. I know it's the cost of the client, but many judges are considered it. That gave confidence. And it was again a chance encounter which landed me in the office of Mr. Vedagopal. The former Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Mr. Arjun Singh, had a commission of inquiry appointed against him by the state of Madhya Pradesh pertained to some aspects of income tax and the only point was that for a list one subject it is only the union government which can appoint a commission of inquiry. For the list two subject or the list three if it is concurrent it would be the state. So Mr. Vardhanath told him Mr. Manukopal is going to Jabalpur, will you prepare a note for him? I am in Cochin. 
whole of Saturday there is only one book, Gupta's book on commissions of inquiry. All of it was read and uh, all the judgment said what the section said. So one judgment which directly said what we wanted was in ILR Calcutta. Now Saturday, 2 o'clock the Supreme Court library closes, ILR is not there in all offices, so the clerk was quickly sent and that volume was available to photocopy it. That referred to another Supreme Court judgment and that Supreme Court judgment was all put in a note and sent and uh, the next thing I hear is that Mr. Venugopal would be happy if I would join him. Now where do you explain all this? I mean, this is all, it's not just your effort, uh, it is if you do Kadamiyana Mwerchi Merkondal Yadir Bharata Parishkal Kathir Kingdom. All that I am trying to convey is that if you work hard, somewhere something opens up. So the message is, whatever is interested to you, and I take this liberty because I see a lot of younger people here, do it to the best of your ability. If a case has been interested to you from out of the statistics given, 1,85,000 lawyers have, 1 lakh 25,000 lawyers have enrolled and 85,000 are active practice. That case has come to you, it has not gone to 84,999. So if you give your best effort and try and see if you can make a value addition.
Since it is a bar council, I am taking the liberty of telling you. But see that that is achieved on a brief to brief basis, so that he is also motivated to work. And juniors, please give your very best. Don't be complacent because the senior has assured you a stipend. Senior has kept you in the chamber because he wants a value addition to the brief. And that value addition will come only if you put the, that extra effort. There is no pleasure without pain. So when you undergo the process, certainly there is happiness which follows. I have no words to thank my parents. And I want to make, take this occasion to mention that a little elaborately in under two minutes. My father was a prosecutor in the trial court at Polachi at Coimbatore. And after his retirement, he came to Delhi because I was alone and uh, roughing it out. As luck would have it, the Tamil Nadu government decided to have a standing council for criminal cases there. And he was appointed for criminal cases. And uh, for those five years, large number of criminal appeals were disposed of. The Advocate General mentioned. Uh, uh, about his friendship with him. When I go to Polachi uh, and I was there, so many people came up to me and said that you are what you are because of your father's impeccable integrity. At the, at the magisterial level when he was prosecuting, he would conduct himself with dignity, with integrity, and uh, so many of his friends have come and told me this. I'm eternally grateful to him. Sitting in Polachi, his only ambition was to give us very good education. We were sent to the convent there and then to Sandik School at Amaravindagar because in the 50 kilometer radius, that was the best school there. And what to speak of our mothers? Please bear a thought. Thai Maharajatage, Siddhi the mother's name no, never appears in the next day newspaper. Have you seen most of the mothers, has any mother's name come in the next day newspaper? Have they, have they, you know, worked only for a profile or that discipline is what is required and we should all, I speak for all of you that just as I have learned my discipline from my mother, all of you must have learned for it and we must bear a thought for them and, and thank them just as we thank our teachers. In Chennai on 15th March, we had a memorial for uh, Ms. Sheila Charyan, my teacher at Sainik School. Chief at Sainik School, we were in the 6th standard, drawn from different segments of society in different shapes, our teeth protruding, our, uh, uh, in all kinds of shapes, different religions of course, but she cared for us like a mother. Irrespective of which section of society we came from, which religion we came from. She practiced secularism and fraternity in its fullest form and sense. Be ever grateful to your teachers. Be in touch with Whoever you know is available, give them a call, give them a call on Diwali, give them a call on Christmas. Their blessing is very important. It can be a professional guru, it can be a guru in your uh, college days. It gives a special satisfaction. I, I started doing it very late. I was in touch with one or two of them, but now whenever I find, thanks to WhatsApp and other groups, we are in touch. Their blessings are very important, ladies and gentlemen. I also know words to thank my wife Jayashri who has sacrificed everything, cost accountant, lawyer and now a child books author. She willingly took a back seat and I always felt that if our roles were reversed, she would have made a much better lawyer but the home would have been not a chaos. <laughs> my children Sukanya and Suvarna have been great sources of great and so is my brother. Narayan. Before I conclude, I just want to commend the Bar Council because you, I had noted down in my 
proposed talk, what it was the proposed talk a couple of days back about suggesting to you continuing legal education. But I find you are already already embarking on a course of it. Please keep it going. Todar kalvi namakku avasyam. Vadakkarin jaraagi vittom. Ini nam arindu gola vendi is under millai. Into nini keve vandam. Please do not be under any illusion. Diwal Sattam, Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court. Goods and Services Tax. Competition Law. So many new branches of law are on the anvil. These would not have been taught to us in the law colleges and I appeal to you Mr. Amalraj and Mr. Prabhakaran to focus on these courses and now with video classes being available, even on payment basis. I think judges have judicial academy. I had suggested some time back, I don't know whether it is feasible, I mean, I to take it to the Chief Justice, whether there could be tie-ups with the judicial academy. But if not, Bar Council should take it up. Bar Council should have courses for continuing legal education. Even on nominal payment basis, you will find that people are willing to pay to learn these new subjects. Subjects which are not taught in law school, which are constantly evolving and developing. It will help the administration of justice in uh, arriving at uh, correct solution when the lawyers are able to. Uh, placement is another important aspect, Mr. Uh, Amalraj. Uh, as I said, this in the Bar Council matter I had suggested, and that is recorded in the order, that let the Bar Council through the Bar Association Elicit willingness of seniors who are prepared to take juniors. Elicit willingness of juniors who are prepared to work under seniors. Now the only question is, how do you compel a senior? You can't compel it. You can't compel a senior. But you can incentivize it. How do you incentivize it? So I've suggested to the court as an amicus that if Willingness to take on juniors is made a criterion for designation, for empanelment in <coughs> public sector undertakings, empanelment as law officers, for even consideration for judicial appointment. It will automatically incentivize the same. Because ours is an unregulated sector. Juniors are joining by word of mouth. Whatever you may say, ultimately, you know, if they know the concerned person, but lot of talent must be available in the movement which must be going wasted because they don't have a senior to join. Please try this. You, uh, committees are working on it. Bar Council of India, Mr. Prabhakar is already working on it. You tell the Bar Association and make it a condition that only those seniors who show willingness to come in the list will be eligible to contest as office bearers of the association. See, you have to either incentivize it or sanction. That's only two ways of enforcing a matter. Please do this because there are a lot of youngsters who don't have uh, way and you will have exceptional talent. I know of friends who are in the offices. I have no illusion that they are the brightest lawyer. I have had the opportunity. They have not, in the sense they are not able to move. Some of them have property, some of them have uh, other issues. But some of them don't even get officers to join. So if you make this and if a stipend is made, you are already paying stipend to yes. lawyers so for I find I have done some research on the website, it's a commendable thing. How can anybody work without, uh, uh, Mr. Manukupal would not take a, a single work, even if somebody has to represent him in a property tax matter before the property tax officer, he will send an independent lawyer, he will not send his office juniors and he will fuss over it and pay them the, uh, pay him the you know, a highly disproportionate fee. Even if it is not to that extent, payment, some payment for subsistence has to be made. It is gone are the days when you say that, you know, the junior is there to learn and not to earn. Where is the question if he is sitting with a hungry stomach, you thinking about where to go, there is no question about it. So, follow the practice to the extent possible. It is also my suggestion to you that a monthly journal of the Bar Council of India, if it can come even at the uh, state Bar Council level, the American Bar Associations have been doing it. So maybe 
with a strong editorial board, if you invite articles and you incentivize it with uh, rewards of books, bare acts, people will try. There are brilliant people in the state. They just want an opportunity in a profession where you cannot advertise and where your reputation grows by word of mouth. What better way than to write an article in a journal on any topic? It need not be in English, it can be in Tamil. I remember at the Bar, a uh, very distinguished uh, lawyer, Mr. Kolodaswami, he would come for important cases, do it in a... Thirputtarattu Padishyana. Thirputtarattu is the Tamil law channel. You read Thirputtarattu. So you can write in Tamil. And that people will come to know. But you have to provide the platform because running a journal will take uh, some time. And of course, you are already conducting seminars and coaching classes. You have to do it for the subjects which are uh, catching up. And for those in the Mofasil, predominantly civil and criminal, periodic lectures, which you are already doing. But apart from law, two things I want to leave and I will conclude it. I know that judges are here. I have to only travel back tomorrow. Profession has to be a holistic development. Without good health, it is not possible to carry on the profession. But that awareness has to be brought. I think you can, you need not confine to the curriculum and syllabi. You can have a, a video class on good health and on financial investment. I found that somehow on the knowledge of investments, you know, for say for the rainy day, I want to make this appeal to the younger lawyers at the cost of being misunderstood. Please live within your means. Do not be extravagant because our profession is we don't have social security. When I say we, I still consider myself as a lawyer. You have to have knowledge of investments, knowledge of mutual funds, knowledge of uh, shares and to the limit to which you should invest. You can take up and uh, have these uh, classes so that this provident fund, to what extent you know you are entitled to claim deduction under chapter 6. This knowledge must be imparted because only then, you know, he will, there will be an overall uh, development, health, wealth also to the extent possible. But at the same time, you should not lead an extravagant life, uh, uh, live beyond your means, live according to Please take it in the right spirit. Uh, it is in that spirit that I want to say. And of course, you are already doing legal aid camps, I won't want to labor that. But I am deeply, deeply overwhelmed by this gesture. Uh, we began here, I have now come back here. I promise you that uh, this responsibility will be discharged to the best of my ability. Whatever ability I have, I will uh, uh, do it. And uh, uh, I wish you good luck. Wish you all the best. Thank you for taking so much time and coming. Nandri Marakam.
Chief, please permit few words in my mother language because today our film station hero is our uh, son of soil. Tamil is a Piranda Mandil Permi Sakavan in the Piranda Tamil Mandil Kanadi, Kariga, and Kanadi get the era in a Mandakan or Pay Sola Padi in the day. Raja Raja Solan, Tanjay Piri, I am Mandil Katina or Pay in Rum Sola Padi in the day. Away board in the Santa Koili, Urgalatil, Santa Kali, the Mundra and Kalia in the day. Udan Koreada, Padina Moku Manavan, Mainda, Padikalam in the Nilay, Patapoda, the Mudal Batch in the Solopuria, Mudal and the Batile, Yumbati Muni, Yumbati Atile, and the Parker and Ajur, Abu Tora and the Niki, and the Yumbati Muni, Yumbati Atam Batty, Piri Padipu, Yuvane, Ucheni Mandavaratri, Valakari and Sangatil, the Nerea, Yibati Center in the Bodum. Tamil Nadu, Tenggori, and Tamil Nadu, even the Arab Silla will be able to come in the day. And the Varata Tekoki, Perandaman, the Perme Center, in the Sataka, in the Barbon City, Mupatay, Nadi, Varakaya, by the Sea, mean to be the Mupatay, Nadi, Kari, Ucheni, even the Nidia Sarai, Ilorukum, Yetikataka, and the Yanidia Sarai. And I have a country in the Vatican in Sulasi, but in Ray, Wundre, I have a Nidia Sarai, Maniki Varakaya. நான் <laughs> And I put the only a paycheck at Kurudan, and the moon to be a Iran to Murray, allowed Mudelvi, Vengatra Muli Tandaya, Adatevi, Vaidina, Muria, Mutta, Parakaria, Adatu the Gayu Boba, Nanga, and he put that in the Mana Mamma, Mulika, Parakari, Iran, and I love the Nigel Murray, and Alara, the victory in the victory, Nigel RV, sort of the Supreme <laughs> We don't have Tamil Nadu Barcon Surya, Taliban, Amadraja, 
அகில இந்திய பார் கவுன்சிலுடைய துணைத் தலைவர் பிரபாகரணன் அவர்களுக்கும் எங்களுடைய அட்வொகேட் ஜெனரல் திரு ஆர் சண்முக சுந்தரம் அவர்களுக்கும் நாங்கள் எப்பொழுதெல்லாம் அழைத்தாலும் எவ்வளவு எங்களுக்கு வேலைகள் இருந்தாலும் வந்து கொண்டு எங்களோட கலந்து கொண்ட மூத்த வழக்கறிஞர் ஏ ஆர் சுந்தரேசன் அவர்களுக்கும் இவருடைய பார் கவுன்சிலை வழிகாட்டியாக பார் கவுன்சில் மெம்பராக முன்னால் அட்வொகேட் ஜெனரல் ஆகக்கூடிய அருமை சகோதரர் ஆர் விடுதலை அவர்களுக்கும் எங்களுடைய பார் கவுன்சிலுடைய எந்த விழாவிற்கும் முன்னின்று செய்கின்ற மூத்த வழக்கறிஞர் பாராளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர் அருமை சகோதரர் அண்ணன் வில்சன் அவர்களுக்கும் மூத்த வழக்கறிஞர் முன்னாள் அரசு அட்வொகேட் ஜெனரல் வி எஸ் ராமன் அவர்களுக்கும் இந்த விழாவிலே கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய எங்களுடைய பார் கவுன்சிலுடைய கோ சேர்மன் அருமை அண்ணன் கோயம்புத்தூரில் இருந்த அருணாச்சலம் கோ சேர்மன் மோகன கிருஷ்ணன் கோ சேர்மன் பாலு இந்த விழாவை தொகுத்து வழங்கக்கூடிய சேலம் சரவணன் கோ சேர்மன் என்னுடைய பார் கவுன்சிலை ஆனரி செக்ரட்டரி ஐயாவும் பார் கவுன்சிலுடைய ஒரே ஒரு என்னுடைய பெண் உறுப்பினர் எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் சே கமிட்டி சேர்மன் சகோதரி பிரசில்லா பாண்டியன் மூத்த வழக்க மூத்த பார் கவுன்சிலுடைய உறுப்பினர் முன்னாள் பார் கவுன்சிலுடைய துணைத் தலைவர் அருமை அன்பு வரதன் அவர்கள் முன்னாள் தலைவர் திரு செல்வம் அவர்கள் எங்களுடைய முன் எங்களுடைய பார் கவுன்சில் உறுப்பினர் அருமை அண்ணன் பால் கனகராஜ் அவர்கள் பார் கவுன்சில் உறுப்பினர் சகோதரர் வேல்முருகன் அவர்கள் பார் கவுன்சில் உறுப்பினர் சேலம் ஐயப்பவனி அவர்கள் இந்த விழாவிற்கு எங்கள் அழைப்பையே கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய நீதி அரசர்கள் அனை நீதி அரசர்கள் மற்றும் நீதி அரசர் தண்டபாணி அவர்கள் நீதி அரசர் ஆதிகேஸ்வர் அவர்கள் நீதி அரசர் நாகார்ஜுன் அவர்கள் நீதி அரசர் பட்டு தேவானந்த் அவர்கள் நீதி அரசர் சந்திரசேகர் அவர்கள் அரசு தலைமை வழக்கறிஞர் ஜி பி முத்துக்குமார் அவர்கள் அடிஷனல் அட்வொகேட்டர் வழக்கறிஞர் சகோதரர் நீலகண்டன் அவர்கள் முன்னாள் பாராளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர் நவநீத கிருஷ்ணன் அவர்கள் முன்னாள் சட்டமன்ற உறுப்பினர் இன்பதுரை அவர்கள் மற்றும் அனைத்து பார் அசோசியனுடைய பிரசிடண்ட் செக்ரட்டரி கலந்து கொண்ட வழக்கறிஞர் சகோதர சகோதரிகள் அனைவருக்கும் நன்றி சொல்லி இங்கே சில மாணவர்கள் ஐயா அவர்களுடைய கவனத்திற்கு இங்கே சில மாணவர்கள் நீதி அரசர் தேர்விற்காக பயின்ற மாணவர்கள் கூட இங்கே அமர்ந்திருக்கிறார்கள் நீங்கள் வந்தது இந்த உரிமையில் நீதிமன்ற நீதிபதிகளை ஒருவேளை வாய்ப்பு கிடைக்கவில்லை என்றால் அனைவருக்கும் உச்ச நீதிமன்றத்திற்கு பயிற்சி பெறுவதற்கான வாய்ப்பு இருக்கிறது உங்களை கோள்பாடாக எடுத்துக்கொண்டால் அங்கிருந்து கூட நீதி அரசராக வரக்கூடிய அந்த வாய்ப்பு அவருடைய மனதிலே நீங்கள் விரைந்து விடுவீர்கள் என்று சொல்லி வாய்ப்புக்கு நன்றி கூறி விடைபெறுகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம்